G'day folks, well today we're under these big girl I picked up last week. Um, I was going to do a vintage Victor, but uh, <laughs> things went astray. I ended up selling the engine off it and keeping parts for another project that's for down the track. So I'm going to go over this one today, get him up and running. Um, need to go and pick out a few parts. I'll get all that organised. Need a couple of hubcaps, possibly a starter, definitely start a rope. And from memory, the carb was leaking, so I'll get a couple of O-rings out and hopefully just get everything sorted so we can just chuck it all together. So we give the mower itself just a quick fucking rinse off. Um, it's a spot there and spot there, missed heaps of spots, but it doesn't matter. Found ourselves a couple of wheel caps. These wheels are really crap. Um, most of the time the hubcaps are missing, so anyway, it is what it is. Um, got ourselves a from cap o-ring hopefully the needles in there otherwise i'll have to go and dig one out um some starter row and a couple of tools so um let's get you guys up on the tripod and rip into it so i think the spring in the starter should be all right i think someone's just snapped the rope because someone's been in here previously and not tensioned it but same as words broken too. memory there's a bit of crap in this fuel tank too so I might have to just take it away and wash it out for a minute. Disconnect our fuel hose. Right. Now's a good opportunity to check your um, starter o-ring but Someone's replaced this rope for sure. Hopefully, we can get some tension on it. That's all right, we'll go and get another starter out and um, come back to him. Sometimes you get lucky. Righty hey. Got ourselves a new starter. Good luck with Avid, it's already got new rope in it. Right. Anyway. New O ring out for him. Ooh. See what nasties are hiding in here. Hopefully, it's all good. Great. A little bit of carbon build up in here, which indicates to me leaking rings, but I've got to pop that muffler off and um, paint it anyway, so we'll just see how it runs and um, 
Worst case, I'll put another engine on it. I need to do rings in it. It's gonna have to undo all this work anyway. So anyway, that's the way it goes sometimes. Trying to get get this thing up and running before it's too hot for the day. And it's my own mower, so I've got fussed about it. All right, we got a working starter. Let's get a working carb. I have to try and scrape some of this crap off. Usually I've got a um, rag on hand, but I don't. I'll just move this vacuum line out of the way. Oh, still got fuel in there. Got a needle in there, so why was she leaking? Needles even the right way around. Don't start. <laughs> Little bit of shit in there. <laughs> that O ring still even looks good, so. What is going on with him? It's nice and loose in there now, so I'm not just being a bit gummed up. Mm. Oh, we might just chuck him back on for a minute. See how it goes. Might just been that little bit of dirt that was stuck in there. Sometimes you get lucky. I'll go and give this fuel tank a quick rinse out and we'll just um, see what it does, eh? Righto. Just gonna chuck some fuel in this thing. So I'll put a new fuel line. Might remember it was um, quite hard and falling off. Put a new fuel tap on it, it had a crack in it. I don't like to disturb more than I have to on mowers nowadays. I used to pull them right apart and clean everything and whatever. I'm just creating more work for myself. I've got to replace this back wheel still. Um, the hubcap just would not snap onto it. It's shot. Anyhow, for now it still goes round and round, so it's amazing. Um, hopefully it was just a little bit of crud stuck in the needle causing it to flood. Let's see what this thing does. Um, still got to reattach that uh, mulching plug mount too, just with a couple of rivets. Hopefully this thing's got some fuel flow. Put him on run. Nothing.
a test mail with it. All right, so I've chucked a mulch plug in this bit, uh, little jigger and um, hit our normal spot. Now, mulch plug does put a fair bit extra load on the engine because instead of just shooting all the clippings out of the way, it's cutting them and cutting them and cutting them. So she may bog down a bit if we need to ditch the mulch plug to get this yard down a bit more. Uh, so be it, but we'll see how we go. have it it's not running too shabby um, still got to paint that muffler give him a really good clean but otherwise yeah. I'd say it's almost ready for market um, people ask what something like this cost to fix up I had the mower for five bucks you know, starter from a wreck so I would have paid five bucks for it and um, So a total of about twenty dollars into it. Um, if I had to put blades on, I'd have thirty-five plus into it. So yeah. Anyway, there we have it. It'll be on marketplace shortly. I've just got to add one fizzy, oh, final touch on top of the cleaning and that, and put a fuel tap sticker on as well, so people know which way is off on the fuel tap. Thanks for watching.